I grew up in what I would consider like an average family. I have two sisters and we competed a lot for um, stage time with my parents talking and who's gonna get to um, be heard. I had gone to teacher's college and I was hired on as a teacher and I had thought I was coming down with like a cold. I was just like, I really can't hear that well. And I remember distinctly teaching a grade 12 English class and having students giving me feedback and asking me questions. And I was nodding my head and saying yes, and I wasn't hearing them. I was unable to um, just keep up. So they sent me to a specialist again and I found out that I have a genetic condition and my hearing loss was gonna deteriorate for the rest of my life. Both my mother and my grandmother have significant hearing loss. So as the condition gets passed down, it increases in its speed at which it appears in the individual. So I was seeing it much younger than my mom and much younger than my grandmother. So I spend a lot of time in my personal life outside. I spend a lot of time with my friends fishing and going on trails around here. And before I lost my hearing, I knew what birds sounded like. And then once I lost my hearing, I didn't know what birds sound like or what a plane sounded like flying overhead. That was a challenge for me and I knew I was gonna to have to wear technology. And then when I finally got hearing aids, I was like, what's that? What's that? And everyone's like, that's birds. Those are planes. And I was like, oh. I had missed all of those sounds for a really long time and I hadn't realized that those sounds were missing from the depth of my experience in life. I didn't realize that they were not there. So when I got them back, it just made everything more enjoyable. Spending my time outside, I can hear the environment sounds, I can hear the ambience, I can hear all of the things around me. There's a world of wonder painted in the sky. What a beautiful sight. It's just the beginning. I have future aspirations to continue not only being a teacher but to hopefully become a teacher for students that experience similar challenges such as myself that have hearing loss and I want to use my experience with going deaf to help other students who might be having those challenges. I'm really hoping that one day I will have a family and if I have a daughter it's very likely that she could be born deaf because of how the hearing loss progresses through the generations. So that's something that has always encouraged me to be positive, to take those steps, to take those strides, um, to seek out the technology, seek out um, ways in which I can compensate and live the same sort of life as anybody else because I want to be a role model for my future children one day and if I have a daughter and she experiences hearing loss, I want her to know that she can do it too. She can do whatever she wants, just like mom.